You know, DJ, I mean, we've really had some oppressive heat hit the state line yeah. these past few days. I know you're tracking a cold front. Is that going to cool things off? Uh, yeah, the cold front is expected to come in tomorrow, but when it comes to cooling off, uh, I'm not too positive about that. But first, we got to get through today and tonight, so let's take a live look outside. It is our Eldridge Roofing River Cam, where it is still sunny. It's all a few jet skis on the Rock River, and yeah, I, I'd say go for it. We do actually have a record to talk about here, as we got down to only 74 degrees here in Rockford. That ties a record of the warmest low set all the way back in 19. 1905. So definitely a warm start to our day here as winds have been strong the entirety of the day out of the south. We're at around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Some gusts have gotten over 30 miles per hour and this has helped a lot when it comes to our temperatures as yes, it's making us warmer, but it doesn't feel feel as warm with that wind currently here at Rockford 90 degrees, but just taking a look just off to the west. There is a line where a cold front currently is and along that same line. We have showers and thunderstorms actually developing into some stronger storms here, but here across the state line, a Rock River Kia Max Storm Tracker that is on the clear side. Those storms are going to be a bit of a morning problem, but we still have the heat to look at here in the short term. Still feeling like 90 degrees at 8 o'clock. Clouds are going to overtake our sky. Still going to feel like 80 degrees even at 3 a.m. That main shower and storm line will finally reach the state line right around 7, 8 o'clock, giving us a few morning showers and storms, but by that time they will have weakened considerably, so not much of a severe risk for those storms. But that's for the morning. As we head towards the afternoon, there is a weak cold front making its way through that will provide a bit of a jump in our thunderstorm chances, and those could be on the strong to possibly severe side, as we are in a marginal 1 out of 5 risk, with mainly the, the main, main risk really just being some higher winds can't rule out a large hailstone or two, but only nickel to quarter size. And with how much heat and humidity and moisture is in our atmosphere, some localized flooding is possible. Now that cold front, it is not going to be the saving grace to our warmer temperatures as it is a weak cold front just acting as an instigator for these showers and storms as we're still going to feel like 94 degrees here in Rockford on tomorrow. The placement on that some places off towards the northwest could be a little bit cooler but I am not holding my tongue on that. Now, as we get into overnight Wednesday, could see another stray shower or two, but as we get into Thursday afternoon, another round of showers and storms are expected as that cold front is going to go up into Wisconsin before coming back down tomorrow or Thursday afternoon. These also could be on the strong to severe side. Now let's talk about what has been driving these. This large bubble of high pressure and heat is parked over in the northeast, and that is going to be here through tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But as we get into Sunday, here is our saving grace that's going to provide us a cold run to come through Wednesday afternoon. And with that, dew points are finally going to drop as well as the temperatures. As you look at our dew points, you're just going to fall off the face of the earth into the comfy mode. And as that dew points go down, well, so does our temperatures. As sad Sunday, looking at a high of 83 degrees, low dew points, looking at a very nice weekend day before 84 and 87 degrees for Monday and Tuesday. But we still have quite a few days of heat to get with, so you want to make sure you are staying inside as much as possible. But there might be an exception here tonight as a lot of fun going on at Anderson Japanese Garden, isn't there, Jake? Oh, yeah, and as well, Food Truck Tuesday as yeah. well. We can't forget about that. But, man, I'll tell you, some oppressive heat today. But seeing those mid-80s, I think 84 degrees coming up here, whew, can't ask for anything better yeah. than that, DJ. Thanks so much. Even with the hot temperatures,